another episode of The Water Breaker. And, uh, yeah, we just got back from going to the end for, like, the third or fourth time. Actually, I need to go to sleep. Oof. Um, because I just died in the nether, and I have no idea where my stuff is. So I went back to get some more stuff, and I did put an ender chest in my base, just because I feel like I need one. I have a bunch of stuff in here. I have some shulker boxes. Uh, and, yeah, let's, let's just, uh, let's just run through the loot real quick. Also... Uh, I do have this over here. That is mending on it, which is really freaking good. Uh, both of these shovels actually do. I kind of want one with unbreaking, though. Because... Wait, does this have crisp binding? Okay, thank God. I was like... <laughs> I was about to say... I thought I had crisp binding because I saw the red and I was like, please say it, didn't I just do that? It wouldn't matter, though. So, yeah. Uh, we have our... I'm breaking two elytra now, because the other one, I don't know where it is. We have 15 more diamonds. <laughs> we have a ton. We have a ton of diamonds, guys. And I don't have any yet, but I will try and get some endstone soon for my other project that I want to work on. We're probably not going to be doing that today, though. So we have that. That has nothing in it. And then we also have this. So, oh, we can't open it. Ah, that's annoying. I'll just place them all like this. Boom. 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 Perfect. So in this one, we have the dragon stuff. This one's nothing. And then this one. Look at this. We have, we have another elytra. I could have swore that I had more than one more. Maybe there was uh, one more in there. I don't, I don't remember. I just know that I have the loot. <laughs> okay. I got, I got some pretty good stuff. Uh, I have this, which I can use. I have my, an Unbreaking 3 Sword, which I just got. have Silk Touch Pickaxe, which is pretty good, except I already, I'm pretty sure I already have one of those. Look in here. Yep. So I can get rid of that Silk Touch enchantment if I want for just a few more levels of experience. And, uh, let's go recheck the Ender Chest, or the End Chest, or whatever it's called. And we have Curse of Vanishing, Mending 1 Pickaxe. Silk Touch 1, Unbreaking 3, Diamond Shovel, which is probably what I'm going to use. Curse of Vanishing, Silk Touch, Unbreaking 3, and Efficiency 5. Probably the best pickaxe ever, except for the Curse of Vanishing, but that doesn't really matter, if I'm being honest. I'm going to get rid of this one, because it has Curse of Binding. Um, I might get rid of this one. Probably will. Uh, th that's like the worst part about the uh, Nether stuff now is or the end stuff is that it was like really good loot before and now since i'm pretty sure since the nether update it is now all garbage because all of them all of them have curse of vanishing or whatever on them i'm cool with curse of vanishing well i'm kind of cool with curse of vanishing curse of binding though is way too stupid so i already have a good sword so i don't need that i'm just gonna run through uh all of this off camera right now and I'm going to get a whole bunch of levels from uh, the stone wheel thing. So I'll be right back. So we are back. And uh, let's just say that uh, the sheep is finally done. Let's uh, let's just go on in here real quick. It's I don't know when I started recording this episode. But I'm pretty sure it's been a few hours. <laughs> so... Uh, we got all the stuff that we needed, and we now officially have, uh, two of every color sheep. Just because, you know, if one of them, if, uh, one of the sheep dies, or if, or if, I don't know, I need some mutton or whatever, I can just get more sheep very easily. So, yeah. And, uh, I just, I just wanted to update you guys on that. We also, I think we did do a few more things. Uh, we sadly still have not gotten our stuff back. We did harvest this farm. We didn't harvest uh, that farm then. And uh, I think I did something else. I do not remember though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, and uh, yeah, so this episode, I think what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing another speed build. I don't know with what yet. Or how, what I'm going to speed build, I mean. But I'm going to try to find something. Oh, that's what I did. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm dumb. Uh, you guys uh, will follow me right over here. Well, I, I say follow me, but uh, 
yeah, <laughs> you guys can't, really can't. But uh, yeah, so I filled all of that in. There are 20 million creepers everywhere, which is super annoying. But uh, yeah, so we have all this, which is pretty cool. We can use this for later projects if we want. Maybe I will uh, build an iron farm in between episodes, just because I feel like that would be something that I could really freaking use. And, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys whenever I find something to build. So, well, I have decided what I'm going to build. And, uh, you guys might not believe it, because I've only built this one time before on the series. I, I didn't build it in the second series. I did find it very useful, though. I bragged about it a lot. No, it is not an XP farm. It is, I mean, it's kind of an XP farm. It's a fishing farm. And uh, I did look up a tutorial on how to build this. We're going to have a speed build for it, of course. You guys like my uh, my wings, by the way. I think they look pretty cool. But, I mean, yeah. So, we got the sheep done today. And that can give us a whole bunch of wool for later projects. But, we want something that we can sit at. Kind of while the sheep and the, all the other farms are running. Kind of just an AFK place for us to do something while we're doing other stuff. And, uh, what better thing to do... Then fish. I mean, it gives you god loot sometimes. So, uh, let's get building. So the fish farm was kind of a success, it's not AFK, I have to sit there, but I don't mind doing that. And uh, just want to update that, uh, that for you guys real quick. This is like my seventh time recording the outro, because I keep on messing up on it. So, <laughs> so sorry about that. But uh, yeah, so we got the sheep farm uh, basically done, we got our stuff, or we got some more stuff from the end. We cleared that part over there, we harvested that again. I feel like this is like a, a huge task for me because I don't have enough inventory slots for it. I might just start putting or having a shulker box with me the whole time. It's really annoying. But uh, yeah, question of the day, real quick. If you guys could add any mob to Minecraft, what would it be and why? And it could be like a real like uh, kind of animal, I guess, right now. One that's not currently in the game, like an iguana or something. Or it could be something that you want to make, like a, a hostile mob, kind of like a guardian or something. Uh, like, if you wanted to make one of those, what would it be, and like, what would its powers be? You don't even have to describe what it would look like, just uh, give me like a description of the super awesome powers it would have. Or if it's just a mob, you know, just, just do that. But uh, yeah, so, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, stay hydrated, of course. Patreon Discord link will uh, now and evermore be in the description. And, uh, yeah, this is all for now. And this is Mr. Bossman914 signing out.